Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a great and wonderful day, and I am so sorry that I did not do any videos yesterday. I just did not feel well or was not really in the mood. I either eating exhaustion from doing this or what have you. I don't really have an explanation on a reason, so I'm not going to make up a reason. So I will just apologize for it instead. Um, so essentially, I'll try to be doing the most videos that I can today. And then tomorrow, or not really tomorrow, but next week, I will start doing, um, I will try to see if I can get a guest show going or do a solo with a something related to trans people, um, the, a documentary that I would like to go over and stream. If when I do plan to do it, I will post it uh, at least a few days ahead so everybody can gather and get time to do, watch it. All right, guys, so without further ado, this is going to be the YouTube files. This is with the Jim Jordan, and he's going to be going over things. I don't know if I'll be doing a part two to this exactly, mostly due to the fact that this video may be long. So uh, in order to just kind of not make the video as long, I'll probably do a part two for the YouTube files. However, here we are. We have this uh, with Representative uh, Jim Jordan. The YouTube Files Part 1, Biden White House pressured YouTube to censor Americans. A total dogs from Google, YouTube's parent company, obtained by Judicial GOP and weaponization, show that the Biden White House wanted Americans censored. Which is, this is not really all that surprising, right? We kind of knew this was already a thing. This was already happened for the Twitter Files from before. But there's more. We'll go through it. Almost one year ago today, Matt Taibbi published the first edition of the Twitter files, followed by other journalists, including Jalen Berger, Barry Wiss, a fan and action person, which I think we found Barry Wiss to be kind of a hack and an idiot when she was shown to be on the, uh, uh, I would say, um, Joe Rogan. She seemed to be much of an idiot and uh, inadequate at her job. But nonetheless, they did release a lot of the stuff, so at least they did good on that part, at the very least. After re issuing subpoenas to Big Tech, the GOP released the Facebook files this summer, revealing the Biden White House wanted true information censored. Facebook changed its policies because of pressure from the Biden admin. Facebook removed content related to COVID-19 in response to pressure from the Biden administration, including posts claiming the virus was man-made, according to, to internal company uh, communications viewed the, view by, the, by the Wall Street Journal. Now, there's a f here's the first edition of the YouTube files. We knew Biden White House was pushing Facebook and Twitter to censor more. Now, we know the White House was repeatedly pressuring Google to censor content on YouTube. On April 12, 2021, Rob Faraday, Biden's director of digital strategy, emailed Google wanting to know how Google could, be be could better crack down on vaccine misinformation and discuss ways the White House and our COVID experts can partner, partner in your product of work. Now, there are um, a lot of things that um, that people may say, okay, well, the vaccine was good, the vaccine was bad, whatever your beliefs may be, that doesn't make it a reason to censor uh, any any information that will be released from it, whether it's wrong information or whether it's correct information. It's up to the people to correct what is wrong and correct what is right. And the fact that we had so many big companies trying to uh, label it as misinformation and stuff like that makes me kind of wary of the vaccine in itself because it is kind of scary that it's uh that we had such big organizations and such uh and so much and so much of the government really trying to push covid uh the vaccine rather than you know maybe not doing that privately google understood what his request meant as internal docs obtained by judiciary gop reveal ross questions were very youtube focused and he dug in our decision making the borderline content which youtube says is content that doesn't violate our community guidelines a week later, on April 21st, 2021, one of the Google Government Affairs team members who had been on recent calls with the Biden White House, specifically Rob Flaherty, explained plainly what Flaherty wanted. Really, he's interested in what we're seeing that is not coming down. YouTube's Government Affairs team when emailed with the YouTube product team, warning the Biden White House is very interested in our work on borderline content. And the product team should be briefed the White House to prevent anything from potentially spreading out of control. Another week later, YouTube Government Affairs team emailed the YouTube product team to update them on the situation. The Google and YouTube team of affairs were having conversations with the White House staff on YouTube policies. Both Google and YouTube's affairs teams wanted to wanted the YouTube product team to meet with the White House staff who were familiar with any, many of the YouTube's policies and efforts removing content because the White House staff continued to have questions on the rise to reduce efforts. 
the company needed this meeting as soon as possible because there was a significant attention coming from the White House staff on the issue. And Google was seeking to work closely with the Biden administration on multiple policy fronts and needed to appease them. So we're going to read this here. Goes on to say, the discussions have been have been good, and the information has been well received. And but staff continue to have questions on the rise, reduced efforts. Given these app, uh, these questions, particularly among the backdrop of increasing levels of vaccine hesitancy in the U.S., we wanted to see if it would be possible for you both to participate in a meeting with the staff to provide an overview of your great work. Again, the staff are familiar with many of our policies and efforts, but we believe having the opportunity for both to share more background would be hugely beneficial as we seek to work closely with this administration in, on multiple fronts. The meeting would be the would be would be the be with the White House Digital Director Rob Flaherty. I think I should pronounce his last name. Not sure. I apologize for messing it up. Who has been leading a lot of the White House work with social media companies to address issues related to COVID-19. If you both would be available, we would like to request a meeting for next week, given the significant attention coming from the staff on this issue. We have this, and Republican in the House, uh, Republicans in the House introduced legislation that would provide victims of government censorship with a remedy, the ability to sue the government bureaucrats responsible for causing your constitutional prejudice speech to be removed. Judiciary GOP and weaponization will continue this critical investigative work to further inform investigative solutions to the vast government censorship enterprise. So, what is going to be this? We have this. Chairman Jordan Senator Paul fight to protect Americans' First Amendment rights against government censorship. censorship. Today, House Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan and U.S. Senator Ron Paul, ranking member of the Senate Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee, introduced Free Speech Protection Act, which will prohibit executive branches, employees, and contractors from using their positions to censor and otherwise attack speech protected by the First Amendment. The bill will also impose mandatory severe penalties for those executive branch employees who censor speech. Censorship is a major threat to freedom today. It is clear that big government it must be more transparent and, the bear, and that bureaucrats must be held accountable for censorship. The Free Speech Protection Act accomplishes, accomplishes that and gives individual remedies for censorship to provide vital First Amendment freedoms, said Jer Chairman Jim Jordan. Americans are free people and we do not take infringements upon our liberties lightly. The time has come for resistance and to reclaim our God-given rights to free expression. Senator, Senator Paul, under my free, pre, free Speech Protection Act, the government will no longer be able to cloak itself in arch secrecy to undermine the First Amendment rights of Americans. No other administration in history has certain Americans' freedom of speech like the Biden administration. And we have an obligation to the American people to uphold the fundamental principles of our Constitution. When I was a Missouri Attorney General, I filed Missouri v. Biden that exposed their censorship. And now I'm proud to join Senator Paul and Representative Jordan in working to dismantle that va this vast censorship enterprise. This censorship, which should scare every American, regardless of political affiliation, and government does not need does not get to outsource their censorship to social media companies. As part of protecting Americans' First Amendment rights, the bill would also mandate frequent public accessible reports from the heads of the executive branch agencies detailing the communications between executive branch of agency and big tech. Ensure that f that federal grant money is not misused to label media organizations organizations as sources of misinformation or disinformation. Terminate several programs and authorities that threaten speech and other constitutionally protected rights. So yeah, that's what they're he, that going here. You can read the bill and what it's going to do as well. I'll put the bill down there. So yeah, I think that um, this is good, but we'll see what happens. What we'll always see from Republicans is that they say a lot of things of what they're going to do, but they never actually take action. They never really do it. And that's my whole problem with the Republican Party. All this is um, hearsay. All this is um, probably gook until they actually do what they say they're going to do. If they do what they say they're going to do, then that's good. Then that means we'll actually have our freedom of speech and everything will be okay. But until I can see Jim Jordan or any of the Republicans going after this and actively attacking and dismantling this type of anti-censorship that we all know that's been happening, then it's just all up in the air and it doesn't really matter, in my personal opinion. Because, again, we need the Republicans to act. That's it. I buy and use their mouth to try to get votes. All right? So... Uh, we'll see what happens here. We knew this was this was happening, but now there's more evidence, and Jim Jordan does has more information. So I'll probably be making another video at some point, um, maybe next week, if not, 
uh, 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 next week, if not later today, so you guys get a better picture. But I don't want to overload you guys with too much information in one video. I'd rather just stick to this. All right, guys. I'm sorry for all the for the late videos of no videos of yesterday. I will try to do better. I really will. Um, and with that, without further ado, like, subscribe, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. Cause it's algorithmic disease, the social media.